Okay, so let's start. Today I'm going to be doing um, a small little canvas. It's it's a mounted canvas. It's a little dirty because that's all I had right now in um, my canvas stock. I only have some small canvases which I don't think we're going to be able to use for this. So these are the things that I basically use. Um, I use acrylic paint tubes because these are primarily what we get here in India. These are Camel Artists Acrylic Colors. I find them good enough really for the purpose of what I'm doing. Um, they're good quality, the colors are bright. Uh, and because they're acrylics, you really don't, I find I don't need the kind of wash gradations and things like that. I prefer to use them in pastel so they're thick and um, you know, kind of textured as opposed to being washy where the color would, where it would really make a difference uh, in terms of pigment. Um, so, a lot of people use brushes to paint, but I personally like to use um, things like these, okay? These are screen printing squeegees. I first started using them when I learned to screen print. Um, but one day, when I was in the middle of, a, of, of, of trying to create a painting, I just happened to pick it up because my brush wasn't able to give me the kind of flat coverage or texture that I wanted it to do. And palette knives and me are not, they just don't get along. Um, I can, I, I find the palette knife oh, oh, fine to work with on small areas, but when I'm dealing with a large 6x4 canvas, it's a little fidgety and I don't like that. I prefer to have a greater control over where I want my paint to go and what I'm trying to create. Um, I'm all for happy accidents, but uh, I still like the control and the ease of using something like this. Now, if you can't get your hands on something like this, you can use an old credit card, anything that has a flat kind of surface, which you can use to kind of push the paint around, okay? Um, the idea here is to quickly create art that is in a fun way and to end up with something quickly that you really like, that looks pretty and that you can hang on your walls. So let's get started. So for this canvas, these are the colors I'm going to use. It's turquoise, um, a cobalt blue in a teal kind of shade, um, an aqua green, a gold bronze, I'm not sure how much of that I'm going to use and an Indian yellow. It's kind of like a chrome yellow, but it's got a deeper, more mustard-like tinge to it. Um, okay, so let's start. I'm gonna stand because I find it easier to work uh, standing than to sit. Okay, so now where I start is I just start by kind of dabbling my paint around here and there. Okay, so I give myself something to work with. Now the primary thing I do when I'm working with an abstract landscape is to create a horizon line. That horizon line uh, can be created at any level on your canvas, but it's better to keep it not right in the middle. It's better to have it either a little higher up or a little lower down. So it adds a little interest and it draws the viewer's eye in the right direction. Okay, so let's start by quickly creating some kind of background on which I can work further and create more texture, add more detail, etc. So here we go. Okay, so I'm leaving my horizon line right up there. It's a little, if you look at the entire canvas, you'll see it's a little above center. Center would be around here. Now, I use the next color. For the next color for the base, I'm going to use this gorgeous yellow. And let's put it in and see what we get. Okay, now I'm going to use the same um, squeegee that I used earlier. I'm just going to flip the side so there's a little bit of blue on it. It's going to blend. I start by defining that horizon line and by adding a little interest here and there. So it's not its not that I'm drawing an exact line, I'm making sure I keep it irregular in a way that adds interest and texture. Okay, 
So now, I have my base done. Okay, there's a lot of white space and it's very basic. We're going to work on top of this. Uh, the reason I've left the white space is that so when I add more color, it's going to come through darker in certain areas and you know where the paint has already been applied and lighter in the areas where there's no paint. So let's try the turquoise. Uh, and I'm just going to do a little bit. I'm going to use the same squeegee. I tend to make a little bit of a mess when I'm painting. I try to keep the mess not on my canvas though. The idea is just to play. Do what your fingers want to do what, and don't overthink it. The problem that happens is that when you overthink your application of the paint, it becomes mechanical. If you just play and add or take away wherever you want to, then there's a movement and life to the painting that they wouldn't be otherwise. So you see I'm reusing bits of the blue here and there okay, and just kind of Dabbing it around to add a little texture, to add a little interest, to blend the colors. The paint is still wet, so if I remove something from somewhere, it's going to take it away. Okay, it's going to, I'm going to be able to go right down to the bottom of the canvas if I remove anything. So, next, what shall I try next? Now, I've pretty much covered up most of this canvas. Okay, so. I'm going to add some of the blue because I need a little bit more depth, I think. And I want some of that brightness back. It's time for the new squeegee. And I'm a little tempted not to try the green. Need more of the yellow.
I'm sort of tempted to try the barns. Um, as you can see, this is what we've done so far, okay? So it's an abstract landscape. I've done fields, um, and that's the sky in the distance. This is really easy to do. And if you use the correct tools, a squeegee, a credit card, um, a hard piece of cardboard, a hard piece of plastic, anything with a straight edge. The advantage of the squeegee is just this. It has a flat edge in addition to a sharp edge. So with a credit card, you just end up with a thin piece of plastic. So the other thing that I find really works is coasters. So I don't want to dirty this coaster, but I will do another video with it where I use the coaster to do the painting. Anything like a coaster, a piece of plastic, a piece of wood, all those work wonderfully as long as the edge is smooth if you want a smooth background or it can be textured if you want a textured background. So I'm going to just pause this video and go and find my white paint. So I'm going to use a little bit of this titanium white, a titanium white and hopefully, sorry, it's not titanium white, it's unbleached titanium. So it's kind of like a beige, kind of neutral color. I hope it, oh, it's okay. I would have preferred white, but you'll have to do for now. I just want to create a little contrast in the color. So unlike the other times, I'm putting it directly onto my squeegee because I want um, greater control over where it's going. Okay, I, I'm just trying to re-emphasize that horizon line a bit, create the impression of some of those fields or plants or buildings, something which gives a little texture and interest. This style of painting I find is very similar to doing acrylic pour paintings, except that you're not actually pouring it, the paint is really thick. So, in fact, I enjoy it more than I do with the pour paintings. I'm gonna add a little bit more depth here with the darker colors. I think we need a little bit more. Not that. I'm changing the direction of my canvas and because I do, I'm doing that, the direction of my strokes is going to change. So it kind of creates a contrast with the strokes that I was using earlier. So, okay, I'm happy with that. Okay. So a little bit here. Now the important thing with this thing is to know when to stop. This is a major problem I have. I find it really difficult to stop. So I'm going to stop now because luckily we're time bound as well. So here's the canvas. We finished it in under, I think it's just about 12 minutes or maybe a little less than that. So, and it's doable. It's something that I would be quite happy to hang on my own. Now this is the basic canvas that I work with. These are the abstract landscapes that I work with, I sell. Um, I use as backgrounds for my mixed media collaged work. Um, I'm going to do another video on that where I show you where, how I can take this particular painting and then add mixed media to it to create even more interest and depth. Um, hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching.